Hi everyone, welcome to Lazy Dance Tips, I'm Alessia. Today I've got for you a few simple exercises you can do anytime, anywhere to improve the arch of your foot. So if you're ready for this, be really careful, I'm going to guide you through everything and sit down on the floor and let's work our feet. Let's work on our feet. I know some of you want really good arches, but I've already got a few videos in there if you want to check them out. So let's work on the top part. But remember, we remember we always need to be strong to go on point, to wear our stilettos and everything. So the whole calf and foot needs to work. It's not just about how good your feet are. Feet will improve depending on the workload. So, but for now, let's work on our feet. For, so first thing, sit down on, don't sit down on your heels, but stay up there. We're just gonna rock forward and back to stretch our Achilles, uh, relax a little bit, stretch our toes, do this a few times. Remember that extension and super duper feet are not the most important thing for a dancer. If you dance it's because you're an artist and you love it. As a, again, technique will improve with time. And you're gonna have your peak when you're about 30 anyway, so keep working hard and <laughs> maturity will come. You'll be absolutely beautiful. So from now here, we've done our rocking forward and back. I want you to sit on the side and release and push our heel. Be really careful at the Achilles. Achilles are really, really important. And you don't want to strain them. You don't want them to um, uh, injure them. I had an injury on my Achilles, not good. It takes forever to heal. So from there, push and keep your toes separated. Make sure that you don't sickle and you don't go over onto the big toe. Again, if we strain the big toe and the Achilles, which is the, well, it goes all the way down to the back of, of our leg and underneath our arch. So we stretch them and put them back down. And again, up, up, up. Push that forward, sit on your hero, relax your back, but keep holding on to your abs. Again, don't let the knees go, keep them up there. And release down. And again, lift up. Stay up here. And feel the stretch. And come down. So now, I'll turn around to the side so you can see. Put one foot down, the other one stays nice and planted. Important thing again here, do not sickle, do not go over to the <laughs> um, other side. Uh, the only thing I want you to do is lift your back, lift your knee and relax your arch and come back down. And again, lift up, feel the stretch and come back down. One more. Release up. Always check the alignment. If you're sitting out or your foot is there, not good. Keep, the, keep it nice in line and lift up as much as you can, as much as you can, wherever you can get to. And back down. Change around. Other foot. Again, sit on your heel. Don't let, it, don't let it sickle and don't let it fish it. Straight, right in the middle. You lift up, lift. And down. And again, lift. And down. And again, lift. And down. And lift. And down, back into sitting onto both feet. 
rock back and forth. Always remember that you need your opposite. You can't even with underwear. You need to work in one way and then you need to work on your turn in as well. Back onto the first foot again. Stay down there and stretch. Check your alignment, check your knee and go push back and down and stretch and down and stretch and down fluff and stretch and down change around other one again check your alignment and go stretch and down and stretch and down and stretch and down and stretch and down back together and rock forward and back we're gonna do our lifts again little rises again so you rise up and you go back down spread those toes and stretch up don't sickle do not sink in right in the middle push those arches forward stretch your toes and down and again forward all the way and down and forward and down so sit down now one foot at the time you want to grab it push your toes down keep your knees stretched and there push it down and stretch keep the knee nice and elongated be careful again at the achilles if you want you can have a cushion underneath as long as you engage quads and back of the leg I'm very sensitive about stretching feet I, as I said I had an injury back in my days on my Achilles I had to have injections for them I cried a lot so that's why I'm always I always say be really careful listen to your body and again nice and stretch from there, relax down. Feel the stretch that goes all the way to the back. And change other foot. I'll turn around so you can see. Other foot. Grab the top. Make sure that it's perfect and in line. Give it a good massage all the way down. Keep your knees stretched. Keep your um, quad engaged and engage the calf and stretch down and release up good give it a good shake now another thing that you want to do is like in a leg mount grab your foot from here make sure that your forearm is right under again keep it pointed there's no point of fishing too much because otherwise you look at me. It doesn't look good if it's fishy fishy. You want a nice strong foot. From there, wrap around and then you gently stretch in front and back in. And again, gently stretch in front and back in. Gently stretch in front. Keep that foot pointed let it go and stretch and give it a good wiggle change around other side this is my bad foot <laughs> my bad ankle poor ankle again wrap around forearm right under the heel and go slight stretch and in slight stretch and back in and 
stretch and in again stretch and in there's everything that you can do at home in your spare time whenever you can whenever you want one more thing toes hands wrap them around here what you want to do is from here again push so have have the leg on top of the other leg don't fish don't sickle straight in front slight slight push of the heel towards and with the hand you grab the whole foot with your interlaced fingers and you stretch you stretch you stretch and you flex and again you stretch also pull your toes feel those toes pulling that's the other thing when you're on point or when you when you're even doing tondus do not crunch your toes your toes need strength as well you're never going to go up on point with or get a nice long line if your toes are all crunched up always nice and long and flex a couple more time stretch and push and yeah, remember the line and flex and point and flex very good <laughs> let go we'll do the other one interlace finger oh my god my toes are so ugly and <laughs> From there, again, remember that, keep pulling, feel the pull. One hand pushes the heel forward and be really, really careful at your Achilles. I'm never gonna stop saying that. And again, push slightly, stretch the top, pull the toes and flex. And again, push and pull towards you and flex one more push don't sickle keep that line and down and one more and flex very good give it a good shake give it a good massage keep doing these exercises be really careful as i said before and well done bravo guys and keep doing the stretches i'm sure your feet will improve in no time if this is your first time watching don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumb up if you like the video also go and check out Lays dancer studio for lots more exclusive workouts See you next time!